All right, and we are officially rolling. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Form of Therapy. We are doing another listening party. Today, we are catching up with some previous albums that people have been wanting us to check out, and this is a long-requested one. This is Feel Special by Twice. Twice came out with Feel Special a few months ago, and since then, people have been asking me to check out the album, and we're finally getting to it. Now, we have today, I believe, five songs. We have Rainbow, Get Loud, Trick It, Love Foolish, and 2129. I have heard the Korean version of Breakthrough. I actually prefer the Japanese version. There is something odd about these K-pop Japanese songs, like the ones that were originally released in Japanese. I prefer the Korean version. And uh, uh, Korean spoken K-pop songs that get converted to Japanese, I prefer the Korean version. The only exception to that rule has so far been Monster X's Spotlight. I actually prefer uh, the Korean version of Spotlight by Monster X. Now, we are going to be listening to Rainbow first. Um, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but... Twice is definitely one of my favorite girl groups, and I think they really started capturing my heart. I mean, definitely since Heart Shaker, but this year in general, I think was one of their best years, best years yet, um, because Twice has done uh, a fantastic job of transitioning from cute music into not necessarily mature music. It's still very much that youthful Twice sound, but there's a little bit of there's a little bit of a maturity to it where it, it sounds more, I, I suppose, instead of like children, not that they ever sounded like children, but it sounds very much like adolescent music, very teenage music. So oh, that just makes me sound old by saying that. You know what? Let's just check this out. Uh, we're going to be listening to Rainbow first. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me, love 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 me, that part before the drop. We'll talk about it. God, that reverb is just a dick
Let me scroll back a little. Like, I love the reverb in the song, but one of my favorite parts of this song is like right before the drop. Hold on, I don't think it's that part. It might be a little bit more forward. Hold on. Okay, so this chorus breaks up into two parts. You know, there's the pre-chorus, and then this first part, first part of the chorus, they go, na 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 na. That's the first part of the chorus, which also kind of works as a build-up, because then the second part of the chorus goes, na 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 na. And then there's like a break in between the first part of the second part of the chorus where it's like uh, it's like the drums in the background where it goes do do do. But I actually love the sound of it. Let's listen. Doom doom doom. You guys hear that? Let's play it again one more time. Just one more time. Doom, doom, doom. Everything, it almost like, it almost kind of sounds like someone's like banging on your door or someone's like hitting the top of their ceiling with like a broom, you know? Everything about this song, like the instruments, I actually really like how hollow they sound. It's not just that part. It's actually the, it's actually just like the general beat, everything about the rhythm. Every instrument here, it hits really hard. Like everything has like a very um, it almost sounds kind of like a gated drum, but uh, but it's not exactly a gated drum. But like it kind of applies to like a lot of the aspects of of the instrumental, where it has like this kind of hollow sound when it hits, but it's very impactful. Like it's very weighty. It's like you're almost hearing like an echo, like a slight echo off of all the instrumentals here. Like so, like it has everything. Like everything that hits, it kind of like the effect lasts just like a half a second longer. So everything sounds really, really impactful. Everything sounds really, really loud and a lot more powerful that way. And I think it really serves the chorus really well. Chihyo's part in this chorus is perhaps the most standout part for me here. So Rainbow so far, very good. Uh, on some levels, like I like some parts of this more than Feel Special even, the title track, but Feel Special is very different. It's written in a very different way. Rainbow is written like a B-side and then feel special is written like a title track it's kind of hard to compare the two but like there are different aspects about rainbow like the liberties they took with rainbow that i like more than feel special uh let's listen to the next song this is get loud Ooh, that is loud sounds like a marching band But this is not where I expected this to go. Hold on. I'm 
I'm truly stunned that not only is this a twice song, but that they were able to pull it off. That they pulled out that they pulled off something that I didn't think that not only could, but that they would ever get. Which is get loud. Get loud is a get loud is a boy group song. The instrumental, the song, the beat. That's a boy group song. Progression. Um, I can imagine this song going to a... This This sounds like a third gen K-pop boy group song. I can see this going to like a boy group with kind of like some... Like very high piercing uh, singers that are used to doing electronica dance uh, pop K-pop type stuff. Um, I can imagine Infinite doing this. Uh, one of the first groups that came to mind was Infinite. Um, oh man, what other groups? Um, but yeah, just like in general, boy groups that kind of did electro pop in like somewhere between like the 2010s and 2014. Um, this sounds like a boy group song from that era. The electronic sounds, the synth, the bass, like. And it's particularly the rhythm that actually kind of gets me. It all sounds like... I, I can easily hear a boy group doing this. And the fact that Twice did this. And I feel like even the even the key... Like, a, I, I can see a boy group doing this. Even the So the fact that that's not even changed also kind of makes me feel like this is truly kind of like... It's not like the greatest Twice song, but it's kind of groundbreaking for Twice and for a lot of girl groups. There are very few girl groups that do gender-neutral music. Um, Idol is I, Idol is a group that does gender that does gender-neutral music, but it's also about style too. Twice is meant to be a, a, a girl group that's very feminine. But even when they experiment, even when they go into the dance genre, uh, sort of something like uh, fancy, uh, it still sounds inherently feminine. And there shouldn't be gender in music because that's ridiculous. Um, but there are certain, I feel like, conventional tropes and there are certain stylings for how a song is produced based on whether it's for a boy group or girl group, especially if it's groups. I feel like there's more leeway when it's solo artists, but when it's groups, there are certain ways, especially because of voices too, because um, women and men have such different ranges and keys. And so that's why when you hear a woman that can hear, that can hit like a lower register or uh, you see a guy that can hit a higher register, um, it's actually pretty goddamn amazing. Um, this song is... This song is awesome. Um, I I think it's not like perfectly polished. I think um, I think just because this isn't like a very, I guess, familiar sound for Twice. I I feel like while the sound is different for Twice, uh, like the the writing itself, I feel like um, the writing was really tame. You know, I kind of wish. Uh, it had taken more risks, more in the actual like songwriting and melody portion. Um, but overall, I appreciate the fact that this is a very, very much more boy group electro pop sound for Twice. So this is up there. All right, let's listen to Trick It.
God. Trick It is just like Get Loud. Trick It is also a boy group song. This is also a boy group electronica song. It's a little bit more colorful though. Oh my god, this is like, whoa. This is like old Eurodance stuff. Trick it. I'm telling you, Trick It and Get Loud are unconventional. They are, they are, these are like, the, the beats for these are super retro. I'm, if you told me that these beats were actually produced in like 2010, 2008, I would believe you. And they just pulled it out of the vault. It was meant to be for a boy group, but then they gave it twice. I would believe you. These, this sound is so so like mid 2000s like euro dance kind of stuff especially like it's a little bit subdued maybe it's just my headphones but like um there's a part in i i, I can't remember it's definitely the chorus but i don't remember if it's the rest of the song but it's like uh the synth that goes dun 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 dun, dun but it's like kind of like a sound of like a whining noise like no it's like like something like that that hook just sounds super super retro super retro um this is perhaps the most boundary pushing twice album to date i mean just with rainbow gill out and trick it i mean this is twice at their best i'm really really shocked by how right on my alley this is Okay, um, let's listen to Love Foolish. Let's see what the what what path they're gonna go. I I doubt it's gonna like stay on this like dance heavy track. So I feel like Love Foolish and Twenty One Twenty Nine might be some slower or cuter stuff. So let's see what Love Foolish has for us. No, hold on. No, hold on. No. <laughs> Hold on. Wait for the chorus. Let's see what the direction of the song is. Love you, hate, foolish. I love you, 
That was unbelievable. There has never been a girl group song like that. Hell. For sure, there hasn't been a boy group song like that. That was like full on like synthwave electronica stuff. I mean, that was like some deep stuff. Like, if that is the kind of shit I listen to. See this backdrop here? It's because I had a synthwave live stream playing while I was working before I did this listening party. And so all I did was mute it. Like literally if I unmute it. Okay, it's quiet right now. Hold on. Look, the title says Cyberpunk Radio. This is the type of shit I listen to. They turned it into a K-pop song. And they somehow turned it into a girl group song. And it sounds so powerful, so emotional. There's so much desperation and ye yearning. And, like, it definitely took the girls' voices in, like, very, very, like, different directions. Because this this is a very, very different style for them. Especially in the key and the pitch. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've only heard it once, so I can't say for sure. But this might be my favorite K-pop girl group song of all time. Yeah. Of all time. Yeah. This might take the fucking cake. Love Foolish is... Dude. Oh my god. Oh, that's extraordinary. Okay, I want to talk more, but let's listen to twenty one twenty nine before we talk about uh, because like my my comments are more about this album as a whole. But let's save that until we finish twenty one twenty nine. Twenty one twenty nine for sure has to be more of like a slower or cuter song. There's no way they do that. I mean, if you even consider Feel Special, because Feel Special is also a dance heavy track. There's no way they have five tracks in a row that are pretty much all in like an upbeat dance genre. So let's listen to 2129. Okay. Much slower. There we go. A lot of ambient white noise. Bit more of a love song.
like that the song is very minimal, very basic. The only thing like going on in the instrumental is pretty much a very percussive sound, and it's driven strictly by vocals. Which I think might translate to 929. Um, softer, beautiful song. Um, it's definitely more of a more of like that warm, emotional Sunday morning type song. Uh, it's driven mainly by their vocals, which I actually really liked. Um, the background instrumental. There's really not much going on. It's just strictly percussive. I mean, there's this very warm tone that they give off, which I really like. But in general, yeah, it's a fine song. You know, you guys know me. I'm, you know, not as into slower songs. So, you know, it's fine. I don't hate it. Uh, but I'm just not as, I guess, jazzed about it compared to the rest of this album is what I want to talk about. Rainbow, Get Loud, Trick It, Love Foolish, and then, you know, Feel Special and even Breakthrough uh, by Proxy. This is the most genre-pushing Twice album to date. This is straight up a dance album. Um, the whole album, if we look at the album just as a whole, it is a dance pop album with like hints of like Euro dance, hints of like electro pop, hints of electronica, hints of synth wave. It's a very experimental dance album. Like this is not a pop album. This is a straight up dance album. Like. Everything except to 2129, they're all dance tracks. They're just all some kind of variation of a dance track. And they're all sort and they're all not like just like any dance track. They all uh, lean towards a more um, deeper, uh, darker uh, color sound. Um, you know, there, there's a color uh, to sound. And this leans, I would say, definitely more on the like warmer, sort of like the. Um, but not warm as in like a sunset, uh, warm, like, like, like nighttime warm. So I guess, I don't know, I guess you would say cold, but it doesn't sound like cold music. either. I don't know. Just, okay. Let's ditch the whole temperature concept. And let's just say 
you know, if I were to make a music video for like Get Loud, Trick It, Love Foolish, I don't know about Rainbow, but most of these would be like neon lights, synth wave, very 80s retro inspired kind of stuff. Um, easily, I can tell you Love Foolish is my favorite song off the album, hands down. And then, I honestly, I don't know what's second or third or fourth after, after that, like... It's Love Foolish, and then I would have to re-listen to Rainbow, Get Loud, and Trick It over and over again to find a winner in between those. But I would say phew, Love Foolish is first, and then Trick It, Get Loud, Rainbow are somewhere there. And we're not including the title track and Breakthrough, and then I would put 2129 last. But uh, what a phenomenal album. Twice. Um, they really kind of milked the feminine girl group especially the youthful young girl group concept for as long as they could which if you can make that work for a long time why not but then once you get to a point where it's like okay we can't make this go on forever how do we transition out of that how do we keep maintaining our sound and they moved into dance music and that was a very very good job because their dance music is just as energetic it still has that very bright poppy kind of kind of the kind of vibe that makes you smile because that's why especially korea loved twice twice is a twice is a girl group that just when they performed and you see them perform they just made you feel happy and smile you know it was filled with positive energy and with their dance music <clears throat> and with their dance music they still managed to do that so ooh best twice album to date I know um, a lot of people regard Twice to Gram as uh, the best Twice album. At least that's what I hear a lot. I actually still haven't even listened to Twice to Gram. Maybe that might be a future listening party. But uh, of all the Twice albums I've heard so far, Feel Special is the most innovative. It is the most different and it's the most boundary pushing. Um, very few girl groups do this kind of sound. No girl group or... Fe or um, I don't want to fa say female solos because I'm not as familiar, but no girl group has done this specific type of synth wave that is not just inspired by like electronica and synth wave, but like is actually that sound and they barely altered it. So um, props to Twice, props to JYP and their producing team for putting together such a fantastic, well-rounded electronica dance album. I'm, as a fan of both electronica, dance, synthwave, and all of those genres, I am thoroughly impressed. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this listening party. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this listening party, let me know what you guys thought about uh, the Feel Special album. What was your favorite song off of the album? Also, let me know what you guys think about the new format. Um, I have like this interesting minimalist frame thing going on i don't know i just was hit with a random bout of inspiration so i thought i'd add that so let me know if you guys like this if you guys want me to keep this up i uh for for future listening parties because i feel like it just looks so plain with just me sitting here listening to the music so i just added a little bit of flair um also if you guys enjoyed this uh did you know that you can actually catch listening parties earlier on our patreon if you go to patreon.com slash form therapy for as little as two dollars a month you get early access to listening parties just like this so if you guys enjoyed this go ahead and go to our patreon and check it uh check out more listening parties there uh you get early access and at higher level tiers you can also get access to uh different reactions like live stage variety show um uh, all sorts of exclusive reactions so go ahead and check that out we have a uh, new schedule tinyurl.com slash fot schedule you can see all of our upcoming videos our patreon upcoming videos we all list it there those are live updates so yeah you never have to wonder what i'm going to be uploading next um anyways thank you guys for always supporting us uh, if you want to support us for free remember supporting us monetarily is not mandatory just hit like down below right there it helps us out a lot with youtube search algorithm leave a comment that helps us out a lot as well um, if you're new if you enjoyed this if you're new once uh, why don't you consider hitting like over here be notified when we upload a new video by hitting that subscribe button and go ahead and check out all our other videos over here Ooh, that was good.